Hello everybody, Flamin' Shark back with another video and this is my review to my blind commentary, blind reaction to JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Stardust Crusaders episodes 7 to 11. Links to the reaction will be down below in the description on Breach and Mega at the time of release. And of course, way down the line, those, those links might be different, but at least for now, they will be Breach and Mega uh, when I'm posting this initially. Um, but yeah, we're finally back. Hey, look, a rotational video, JoJo's, and there'll be another rotational video tomorrow in the first uh, two episodes of Devil is a Part-Timer. So look forward to that as well, if you are excited for that. Uh, but yeah, JoJo's five episodes, first five episodes set of JoJo's. I don't think, it's actually interesting because, and let me actually check, because I think, I don't actually think there's a six episode set of JoJo's at any point in, in our reactions to parts one through five, obviously not parts one or two. Uh, let me actually take a look while I mention it because, um, like I've mentioned before, it's going to be, um, JoJo's part three is 12 sets. Part four is 11 sets. Part five is 11 sets. So in part three, we're doing 12 sets. So it's only actually one more set to get through part three versus part four and five. Um, yeah, we have, yeah, we have a few five episode sets, but there's no six in part three. Uh, yeah, it looks like there's only one five-episode set, it looks like, in part four. And then part five, it looks like there might be two. Yeah, but there's a few in part three, so this is the first of a few. Uh, but yeah, a lot of, because most of my JoJo sets are either three episodes or four episodes, which is kind of what I like. I like, you know, those are the money sets when we can get three or four, but obviously I don't mind doing more, even less in certain scenarios. But um yeah, it, this is this is uh this is this is a big set of JoJo's. A lot of stuff happened. There was a really big twist I was not expecting that happened uh in the later episodes of this set. And a lot of really fun stuff overall. I'm definitely enjoying part three. It was weird because this set was off to what I thought was kind of a mediocre start. I didn't really think episode 7 was all that much. And then I thought the last four episodes, 8 to 11, were all really good. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed 8 and 9. And then 10 and 11 were crazy. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it was a overall really strong set that, that, that started kind of weak, but then, like, really picked up for me in the other episodes. So I thought overall it was a fun time. Uh, I definitely enjoyed it. It's definitely very, like, I feel like there's a very kind of, like, obvious pattern that's going on here with a lot of this, but it's still been really entertaining. And the other thing that's been interesting about Part 3 is, at least in this set, it feels like the show really took a step up in just how bizarre it is. I feel like the show is getting weirder. I feel like Araki, Araki is getting more comfortable with his absolute nonsense that he writes, and I feel like you can really tell in this set that's like, oh yeah, I'm going to start getting weird. Uh, and not that the series hasn't been weird before, but I feel like it really took a step up in weirdness with some of the random ass stuff that was going on in this set. So that was very entertaining. I uh, heavily appreciated the absolute nonsense that was going on with the cherry and just some of the just ridiculous stuff that happened in this set. It was awesome. Um... But yeah, I mean, it's great, great to get some more JoJo's in, and obviously a pretty big set, especially since it's been quite a while since we got our last JoJo reaction. But like I said, like I said, I, I really think we're going to be in a run of consistency. I would expect, hopefully, you know, really consistent stuff. Obviously, like I said, time this is going up, Devil's a Part-Timer's already, like, totally ready to go and everything when, by the time this will be going up for tomorrow. And uh, hopefully we'll be, you know, just, just cruising along. Like I said, I, I think everything should be great and I'm looking forward to it. And I have certain goals that I definitely want to hit at minimum uh, before the end of the year. And it's going to require a decent bit of consistency and that's what you're going to get. So uh, here we go. Like I said, you know, August, you know, I wasn't posting anything in the beginning of August, but that doesn't change the fact that August still can't be a pretty strong month for the channel and uh, hopefully it will be. But um, yeah, I mean, August 16th and August 24th will be My Hero reuploads. But hopefully the other days of the month we should have new content, hopefully. 
um, and if not every day, close to it. Uh, that's the goal. So we'll see what happens. But uh, yeah, I, I'm I'm having fun with JoJo's. I'm excited for more. Curious to see what they get up to next time as they potentially leave India. Maybe they still have more to do in India, but probably as they continue their journey west towards Egypt and towards Dio. Trying to think what else I have to say. Um, like I said, just generally, like, just, you know, I'm really sorry this obviously took so long. You know, I really hate when I'm being inconsistent, and it's great to, um, to get these videos out, and hopefully, hopefully we can really get something going here, and it won't be that long before you guys get more JoJo. Hopefully, if everything goes, you know, best case scenario, what the next JoJo, let's see. Tuesday, because obviously this will be Monday, will be the JoJo's. Then Tuesday would be the Devil's Part-Timer. Wednesday would be some Teen Titans. Thursday would be some Monster. Friday would be some Danganronpa. Saturday would be... Uh, so yeah, so so the, the hope is that Sunday we're looking at... Uh, yeah, the hope would be is that we can get another JoJo on Sunday. That would be, that's the hope because yeah, the hope cuz cuz we're doing our next reupload is scheduled for next Monday, but if we're if we're, you know, daily through this week, there'll be a JoJo reaction on Sunday before our next reupload, which will be the first half of the My Hero I have to reupload will be uh, going up next Monday and then the following Tuesday after that on the 24th of August will be when the rest of the re-uploaded uh, the rest of the my hero that needs to be re-uploaded will be up so that my hero will be re-uploaded pretty soon and all um fully accessible on the youtube channel for when uh, the season five reactions come after i finish monster but um yeah i i'm definitely excited and hopefully you guys are getting more jojo on uh this sunday that's that's the goal is to uh just keep going to get that was a part-timer on tuesday teen titans wednesday monster thursday don gun around for friday I'll have Saturday, and then that would get us to more JoJo on Sunday. That's the hope, but we'll see what happens. I'm definitely, regardless, I'm definitely looking forward to more JoJo. And I'm really excited for a lot of stuff, because obviously, close to finishing Teen Titans... You know, I get to, we're getting to start season two of Owl House as well, just generally catch up to that. That's going to be really cool. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on that I'm really looking forward to. So it's not going to be too much longer before we get into all this stuff. And I honestly can't wait. So uh, yeah, I'm really having fun. I hope you guys uh, have fun with it as well. But uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure finally got to some more and a big set this is the first five episode set of the series i didn't have a ton to say about these episodes someone tells me a lot of part three i'm not gonna have like huge amounts to say and to be fair i feel like with a lot of jojo in general i haven't had a ton of commentary see it's interesting right there's some series where it's like oh i might not have a ton of crazy reactions but then i have a lot to say afterwards i feel like jojo's is a series where i'll have a bunch of reactions and then not a ton to say afterwards but it's cool as long as the show kind of gives me one or the other at least a lot of good stuff to react to or a lot of good stuff to talk about afterwards or even during in some cases if i really want to dive into a thought and pause or whatever but uh yeah anyways i'm just gonna leave it here so like i said links down below breach mega at least when this originally goes up if you want to support the channel patreon's down below in the description you can check that out that's the best way to support the channel for me just you know give me a couple bucks or a buck or whatever i, I appreciate it immensely um but watching the videos is great too like that helps too uh and just all that all the normal youtuber bullshit uh you guys know the drill and uh yeah discord too if you want to check that out there's other links too you guys know the deal i will not bore you with any more of that if you are watching this review for whatever reason flaming shark signing out hope you guys have a wonderful fantastical day and i'll see you next time with another video thanks for watching peace